Hi guys, Melissa Johnson, independent Sensi consultant back with you again today. And I just got home from running to the post office. There's my bird rose. So I picked up some Tim Hortons coffee. <gasps> I love Tim Hortons coffee. Um, I, there's this weird phenomenon, you guys, that um, people like when Cassie was going to college in Maine, um, there was like a Tim Hortons one <laughs> in Bangor. And then there were like four Dunkin Donuts. And I was like, what the heck? I love Tim Hortons way more than Dunkin Donuts. Like, I mean, Dunkin Donuts is fine if there's like no other coffee places, but I'm going for Tim Hortons. Like this stuff is amazing. Anybody else team Canada, team Tim Hortons? Yeah, <laughs> over Dunkin Donuts. Now I will say if there's a Starbucks, sorry, Tim Hortons. <laughs> I'm a Starbucks girl because I like all the froth and the fancy syrups and all that stuff. But you know, when in doubt, like Tim Hortons, you can never go wrong. So go Canada, <laughs> making the best coffee ever. So I wanted to really quick while that's still hot, because uh, I'll talk and then it'll be cold, which is fine because I like iced coffee too. But um, I wanted to let you know, I did get a box yesterday. I got my two Angel um, Experiment 624 bars that were um, on back order. And I got my two packages of cotton clean or cotton cleanups. So if you guys, um, that must mean that they must be back in stock. I'd stock up. I threw three in my club. Um, so that I could start getting a stock because I could have used, I mean, I used a bunch of cotton balls in between. So, I mean, I could probably use one and a half, two, um, just me and all of my warmers. So, uh, plus I'm going to be doing some mixers. Um, so stay tuned because um, I've got some, I've, I've just been inspired lately. I'm not usually a mixer. Like I want to try all the scents on their own without being mixed first. Um, and I'm almost through the summer collection. I think I have 10 or 15 bars left to try. Um, so you'll see some in here. And then, um, okay, so <laughs> I got my angel and I'm going to do my what I've been warming here in a second. Um, oh, it smells so good. It's like strawberry taffy. Um, I like that I have two. I can, I want to mix the other one and yeah, it does. It's like strawberry taffy. Okay. So I like it. Um, and I don't, I'm weird about tap or like strawberry, but I like this one. Um, so, okay. So last night, <clears throat> like always, well, okay. I don't know for how much longer, but, um, Heidi and Orville always do like this end of the month um, thing on like live on Facebook and tell us what's coming um, in the upcoming month. You guys, they said that Bring Back My Bar was coming in May. And I could have swore I read on the workstation it's not coming until June. Like in the Sensi Flyer group, like I could swear that they did June. <laughs> and I could swear reading in the news tab it said June. And I don't know if poor Heidi and Orville were mistaken or if they're planning on doing it early, so be prepared um, that Sensi could come out um, in May with Bring Back My Bar. I was not prepared for that. <laughs> so um, yeah, May the 4th, you guys, we have a new R2-D2 warmer and it does like a light projection on the wall of Princess Leia. It's really cute. Um, I did watch Star Wars when I was little. My cousins and I, when I was a tater tot, went to go see The Empire Strikes Back at the movie theater. So I'm familiar with it. Um, I'm just, I don't know. It's just not my favorite thing in the world. So I'm more of a Disney girl. <laughs> um, but it's really cute. And then they're coming back out with, I don't know if these are both pre-orders or if they have a little stock of buddies. I'm not a hundred. I couldn't quite a hundred percent track them. <laughs> um, but just assume it's a pre-order and who knows, maybe you'll get some stock ahead of time of, um, baby Yoda from the Mandalorian, um, the warmer and the buddy. Um, they're coming back out with that. 
you're coming back out with the wax bars, the light side, the dark side, and, and the Mandalorian, which I already have the Mandalorian in my club and I love it. So I'm really excited to try the light side and the dark side. Um, and hopefully those are yummy. Um, try and think that's all for the fourth. Um, yeah, I'm going to drink my coffee. So, um, what I've been warming, um, let's go through these real quick. Um, I don't know, well, I don't know, maybe we'll totally unpack it. <laughs> All right, so, non-wax. Um, so I did put in, um, one of the buddies, trying to think which one it was. Oh, it was Tigger. <laughs> I put in Pina Colada Cha Cha. Oh, love this in the scent pack. And he smells really good. Um, oh, yeah, I love it. Um, smells just like a Pina Colada drink. So that's a fun scent pack. And um, I also put um, Faithful Friends in both Lady and the Tramp. Um, still a very unique scent in the scent pack. Has, is, is this one the one with freesia? I think it's the freesia that, that makes it seem odd. But um, I'll get to the bar and tell you my thoughts on the bar when I get to it. Um, so I also took out of my car, um, oh, sorry. And we should do Sebastian. I put the Little Mermaid scent pack in. That scent pack is really, really good. Um, I really like that in the scent pack for the Little Mermaid. I kind of wish they came out in pods with those, but yeah. <laughs> um, so I've had in my car for like ever. <laughs> um, the, the, and it still kind of smells. But yet when you get in the car, I couldn't really smell it. So I kind of hated to take it out. But yet, I don't know, I could put it in my linen drawer, I guess. Um, snow kissed cranberry. I think we got this in a whiff box. Oh, it's really good. Um, I really like that. <laughs> and then, um, I also had in there, yeah, it kind of smells like the snow kissed cranberry. It doesn't smell anymore, but the, um, winter berry apple tea scent circle I had in my car too. Um, I just keep forgetting to take them out and then I keep adding new ones. So I added Mineral Oasis. Um, gosh, I love this one. I wish they would have come back with it. And I got this from the clearance section in January. I can, I can still kind of smell it. I might throw that one in a linen drawer too. Um, I really, really, really like that one. More than Atlantic Air, I really like Mineral Oasis. So I'm sad I can't get that one anymore. Or is it snow kiss cranberry? I don't know. <laughs> Software, I don't know. Um, but I just put in, because I had to go to the post office and mail some packages, um, Farmer's Market that I got from the, um, oh, think it through, Melissa, <laughs> from the clearance section in January. I, I go on high speed. Um, and then my brain gets ahead of me. And then I'm like, what was I going to say? <laughs> Anyways, um, I like this. I don't really smell the apples that are on it. It smells like flowers. I mean, I would have liked this if they would have had this in wax come out this year. I don't know how old these are. I'm super new. <laughs> I just joined in Aug the end of August. Uh, it doesn't really say either. Um... It's literally like fresh cut flowers, like, like a flower bouquet, but it's not like the powdery, how do I, it's not like powdery old lady floral. <laughs> it's not like lilacs and violets or lush gardenia, which I really like those. It's more of like literally fresh cut flowers. And it's not like sun soaked petals, which I guess. You could, I like this one and I don't like sun soaked petals. Um, there's a note in it that just kind of turns me. Um, 
I should try milling it again in the summer. I don't like, well, this, I love this though. It's got that green note, like the green stem. And like pretty fresh flowers. I don't know how to describe it other than I think it's really pretty. I'm so glad it was in the clearance section and I could try it. I'm just sad like I didn't ever get to try it in wax, but it gives me an idea of things to vote back for um, like Mineral Oasis is one I want to vote back. <laughs> Like, I'm voting that one. Um, I don't care if I'm the only one. But Farmer's Market, I like it. Um, so that's in my car. Sorry, I could go off for days because I really liked it. Um, oh, Faith Faithful Friends. I have it written down here. <laughs> um, it's got berries. Oh, wait, where is it? it okay, I'll save this for when I get to it. <laughs> Um, and people, friends, where did it go? I know it's here somewhere. Oh, it's way over there. Okay. So, yeah, I have the scent notes for when I go over those. So, um, starting today, oh, you guys, if you really love, and I don't have it with me, darn it, um, the warmer of the month for May, I, I keep telling myself May, not March, May, um, grab that ASAP because um, Heidi and Orville said it's very popular and they're not sure if they ordered enough. Um, Pre-sales will be available. Um, they're, you know, they always try to do that if they can. So um, you may have to get it on a pre-sale, but um, yeah, try to grab it as soon as possible. But the scent of the month for May um, I got this like scent wax cup in my whip box. I love this, you guys. I love it so much. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Palm breeze. I always say it wrong. <laughs> Palm trees and ocean breeze. I just call it ocean breeze and then I try not to forget. It literally smells like fancy shampoo to me. Like the old, and if anybody knows, please let me know. <laughs> <laughs> that I'm not strange that I I was so in love with physique shampoo but it did never give me volume um like I didn't find a lot of volume with my hair so I would just use it every now and then because I love the smell of it that's literally what this reminds me of it's so good so good love that <laughs> um so speaking of which um, I went through, is it just two? Might have just been two. Um, yeah, I guess it was, uh, no, I guess it was just two bars. Yeah, no, wait, I'm losing my, no, it is three. You guys, okay. <laughs> I'm glad you still watch me. I am such a scatterbrain. Um, I admit it. <laughs> um, yeah. So I went through three bars: one on my own, and then two for samples. Well, two and like a half, but the other two cute. Well, two and a half, and then the other two cubes I put in my warmers with this. <sighs> um. Palm trees and ocean breeze. This is totally going to my Scentsy Club. I'm so in love with it. Dale enjoyed it. It it does. It smells like fancy, beautiful, gorgeous shampoo. Physique. I'm telling you, if someone knows physique, please tell me. <laughs> please message. Please comment below and say, oh, I remember physique shampoo. Because I don't even think it's there anymore. Maybe it is. If, you ha if it is still there and you see it at Walmart, try it. Try Physique Shampoo. Because 99% of you don't have baby fine hair like me. So I highly recommend Physique Shampoo because your hair smells so amazing. And, and I swear to God, it smells like this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm so in love. Okay. So um, totally putting this in my Scentsy Club. <laughs> Because I like this better than Plumeria Peach and what is, oh, Red, 
hair and pomegranate. Um, those are nice, but which I have jeweled pomegranate, my clubs and like red pear pomegranate. It's kind of fruit punchy, eh, you know. Um, we have like paradise punch and like, um, <laughs> I'm just gonna keep plumeria peach. But this one, this one's better than those. This is, oh, I'm a huge fan. <laughs> huge fan, huge fan of um, ocean palm trees and ocean breeze. I'll never get that right. So I also went and replaced a light bulb. It's a 25 watt light bulb um, that burned out my one warmer. I'm trying to think which one. I'm, oh, is my salt lamp. Um, you can see it like right there. <laughs> right there, sitting on my mantle. Um, so that, um, light bulb was a replacement for that warmer. Um, okay. So let's do, let's do regular catalog and then we'll do some fun ones. Sound okay. <laughs> um, so right now, currently, um, I just put it in this morning is baked apple pie. This is the first time I'm melting it. I love it so much, but I am such a bakery cinnamon, red hot cinnamon. I smell the red hot cinnamon. So if you don't like red hot cinnamon, you won't like this. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. I think I need a brick of this from Scentsy Club. Pretty sure baked apple pie is a brick and I need it. <laughs> I could, I could warm this. Like even when it's like a hundred degrees outside, I could still warm baked apple pie. I love red hot cinnamon. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So this is fantastic. You get the hint of the apple. You get the red hot cinnamon. Maybe a hint of the bakery, but it's mostly the app, like the hint of the apple and the red hot cinnamon. Oh. I'm so angry. Um, so adored that. Um, I also um, melted um, Now and Zen. Not sure I like this one. It smells so pretty um, in the in the clam, but when it's warming, it's more. It's more like soapy chamomile than which chamomile, chamomile is kind of floral. I didn't get as much grapefruit as I hoped. Um, I kind of hoped it would be like equal amounts of grapefruit and chamomile, but it was a lot of chamomile. Um, not that I mind chamomile, like I'll drink chamomile tea. Um, I don't know. I guess it just wasn't my my favorite favorite like I don't mind this in the body care even though it's really light you can hardly smell it um like I have the hand cream I would try the Scentsy Soak the body wash like I I mean I can already tell the hand cream isn't very exciting but uh, I think that the do they have this in fragrance mist that would be good um I like it. I was just, I guess, expecting more grapefruit, um, kind of like half and half. So I don't know, it's a little soapy floral for me. So um, definitely not going to my club, not sure. Um, I would I would probably repurchase this. Um, so I did, I melded um, my all time favorite. <laughs> Bonfire Beach. Oh my lord. This is the best scent. Oh my lord. Like I literally can't get enough of this. That's why I have so many bars. But I'm going to be doing some mixing with those. I might have to keep hoarding these in my monthly club. I don't know. You guys, I'm like obsessed with Bonfire Beach. I could literally do Bonfire Beach. Me and Karen Rosa from Australia. So find her YouTube channel because she's a doll. Um, but we we love this. We love this a lot. <laughs> we love it a lot. Right, Karen? 
Oh my word. Oh, I want it in everything. Body care. Um, everything. Laundry. Oh my word. <laughs> Bonfire Beach. Um, I also went through, um, let's see, I know there's two. Yeah. I did two um, bars of Tangerine Creamsicle because on its own, Tangerine Creamsicle is very light. Um, if, if you don't like a lot of like heavy scents, um, you know, go with one bar downstairs, which is usually a lot in some of these. I don't mind it, but um, one is so light. So I did two. Um, and I could smell it a lot better, um, like a lot better. And I, I did, I enjoyed it. I liked it, but am I going to want to always melt two bars to get that effect? Probably not. Um, I do like it. I, I don't know. I'm on the struggle bus with this. <laughs> I can't decide if come the end of the season, I'm going to want to put this in my club. I don't think it's strong enough for me. And I don't think I want to melt two whole bars at the same time to get the effect that I want. I don't know. I really, really like it though. Um, I like the two bars, but I also found that it's an awful lot like Sunkiss Citrus that I melted. Except that, so you still, like this one definitely smells like orange popsicle and like the cream like the vanilla cream. You definitely get like you're eating a creamsicle. You get that orange popsicle, almost tiny bit freezer burned orange. Um, this is definitely more orange. Um, and it's got like a creamy note to it too, like Sunkiss Citrus. Um, I can definitely see why this is in cleaning. I really liked it. It is stronger on the orange, but it's kind of mellowed out a little bit because you get the creamy vanilla. I almost feel like, um, you could get that with Sunkiss Citrus. I don't know, one bar of Sunkiss Citrus gives you enough to smell... Like, I could smell this whole bar. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> but I like Sunkissed Citrus. It's not one that I would, like, run to all the time. Because it's not, like, special. But I really like it. So, I also did Lemon Verbena. And I definitely see why this one is in the cleaning. It, I like it, though. Um, it's very, very lemon. But of all the lemon scents, like... My favorite is still lemon sorbet because it's like you're eating a, a lemon sorbet. Lemon sorbet is totally going in my club. I'm gonna have to get more before the end because we're just kind of, like yesterday was in the 40s, frost warning. Today it's warmer in the 661. So I do, I like this lemon verbena, but I it's definitely like pledge furniture polish. I like it though. I don't mind that. Like some people, I guess it's a turn off. I don't know. I like it, but it does totally smell like lemon pledge or like a lemon bathroom cleaner, like lemon Lysol, <laughs> which I actually have in my bathroom. Um, downstairs, upstairs, I have all the scentsy. Oh, I do. I really like lemon verbena. I really think, um, like the cleaning, like that's, that's a great scent. Um, I'd melt it again. Like same with Sunkiss Citrus, Tangerine Creamsicle. I totally melt them. They're just not something I'm definitely going to die if I don't ever melt it again. So they're not going to my Scentsy Club. Um, so I also went through a second time Aloha Citrus. I do really like this one. It is a nice performer, but I was trying to decide, is it club worthy? And I'll probably melt another, well, it depends. <laughs> I'll probably melt another one before the end of summer. Um, 
I do really like it. Um, this scent pack is in, I think it's Jazzy the Jellyfish that I have. So I do like it. Um, it's a lighter scent. So I use this in my bathroom in the office, like the whole bar. It, it's so pretty, but I just don't know if it's club worthy. I think that's a no. It looks like cute packaging. I think it's Karen Rosa that, well, that made me realize just how, like, take a look at the packaging. Like, I've never paid attention before. And her and a couple other people would mention it. I was like, you know, those are really cute. Oh, I do love Aloha Citrus. I highly recommend this one. Um, I'll probably get another one or two before the end of the season. This is just, it's pretty. Um, it's like a soft, fruity, florally, florally. I know it's not a word, floral type scent. I do like that one. I just, I don't think I'm going to put that one in my club. Then um, I made it through Skinny Dippin'. This one's interesting. <laughs> It has weird notes in it. Um, and of course, I know my catalog. Um, I think I like Kimu Kimu better. And Kimu Kimu has like, um, like, a, like a punch of um, passion fruit. I mean, this is nice. It's just not like, I'm going to die if I don't ever melt it again. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of like papaya, mango, banana. I don't even know if those are the right notes, but that's what I'm smelling. I would say like papaya, mango, banana. I don't know. It's, it's okay. I think there's maybe even apple in it, which I don't smell any apple, but maybe like a yellow delicious apple or pear or something. I don't know. It's different. It's okay. Um, I didn't dislike it. Um, I didn't love it. <laughs> it was nice. It was a good performer. Um, I also made it through Go Go Mango. And this one kind of surprised me. I really liked it. Um, I know some people have trouble with it. But like Iridescent Pearl, I don't have any trouble with it. It does fantastic. But I have a ton of ceramic um, warmers, like a ton and the glimmer and glow, which is like an 18 watt element. Um, I have a 40 watt Edison out there. Like I, I mean, I have the etched core three, <laughs> all three colors. Yeah. So, I mean, I got excellent performance at a go-go mango and it was really good. It's really pretty. I think I like it better than Aloha Citrus. Um, which is weird. Like I can smell this one more. I don't know. I think, but I, I think they're both not really club worthy, but I really liked both of them. They're similar, um, to me and I got similar performance. Well, actually probably Go Go Mango did better for me than, um, Aloha Citrus, to be honest. Um, but I also made it through very bright. Now I have to say after, now this clam is all kind of, um, like beat up and stuff. And I was like, Ooh, I should get to melting that because the top kept wanting to come undone and I didn't want to lose fragrance. I kind of felt like it lost some fragrance. So I kind of want to get another bar and try it. Um, because I don't know if that's what happened. Um, Cause like, like it kind of doesn't even want to stay shut. Like I was like, mm. this is like, this came broken when like I had a whole bunch of tops come off and yeah, but, um, I like it. I just think, um, blue grotto might be better. Blue grotto is fantastic. And they're so similar. So similar. So, so similar. Um, I really like Berry Bright though. I just think I like Blue Grotto better, but I'm going to try another one and see, um, if, if it didn't have something to do with that clamshell. Um, so I also made it through Satin Sheets. 
Now I got a scent pack of this and I put it in my Scentsy Friend um, Bailey. And I was like, well, it's okay. But the longer it sits in her, the better it smells. Um, this wax bar, this is totally going in my club. This is so good for the bedroom. So good. Was it van just vanilla and sandalwood? Maybe amber. I think it's vanilla sandalwood. Oh my word. I love this so much. And it's like the perfect strength. So it's not too strong, but it's strong enough that you smell it. It's so pretty and it lasted for days, but keep in mind, I have four element or three element warmers and a glass warmer I turn off at night. So I've got the, the April warmer the month up there. I've got the milk glass one, which is like 12 watt element. And I've got the, um, um, polar panorama. <laughs> it's drawn a blank. Um, Oh, so pretty so pretty it's it's just um it's got kind of a baby doll face smell too but I it's just so pretty I wish this was in body care oh my word I I love it I love it I I would be sad to never have satin sheets again so that one's totally going in my club um I like that way better than the scent pack <laughs> Um, so that was a surprise one. And then I went through, um, Bloomin' Beach. Now I don't mind old lady Rose. <laughs> and I know it sounds terrible. I'm sorry for older ladies. Um, don't be offended. <laughs> Cause I don't, I, I'm going to be old soon. Like I'm 46 and a half. Like I'm, I'm going to be right there with you soon. <laughs> I love florals. I love old lady scented florals. Like I love Lush Gardenia. Have melded it yet, but I love it. I love, um, giant groundhog in the yard. Sorry. Um, he distracts me cause he runs around out there. Um, I love lilacs and violets. So I like blooming beach, but it's strong powdery old lady rose like it's strong like I don't get beach anything so it's so weird that they bloom in beach like they should have called it rose garden <laughs> um and maybe if they have one like that then um I know you can't call it simply rose um <laughs> um, I, I, it's like a perfumey rose. Yeah. And I don't mind that at all, but, um, so I like it. I'm not sure. Can't make up my mind if I want to keep it in my club, my quarterly oh, the packaging is just beautiful though. Um, now I can tell you Lush Gardenia and... Um, lilacs and violets are totally a hundred percent going to be in my club a hundred percent. And I think this might go with it. Um, I don't think it was Dale's favorite, but he didn't mind it. Like it didn't bother him. Like he's just like, whatever. Um, so I don't know. I like it. Um, I think it'll be fun in the summer. It's definitely, I think I'm going to get a couple more bars for sure, but a dead on, you've got to love, I guess they describe it as powdery, but I'm just going to be real with you. And I'm almost there, ladies. <laughs> it's old lady Rose. Like you got to love that. And I do. So what is my cat doing? I'm kind of walking across stuff like he owns the place. <laughs> oh. I do like it. Um, I just, I'm like, oh, is that a keeper? I don't know. So I also got um, and went through Be Fabulous, which I've done this one before, but because I'm like, oh, I think it smells like Monsters, Inc. Um, I want to melt these at the same time. So okay. Be Fabulous is totally going in my club <laughs> at the end of the season. 
This is a definitely like lemoncello grapefruit. Fantastic, strong performer. I, I absolutely adore Be Fabulous. But it's definitely grapefruit lemoncello, like hands down. Now, when you smell Monsters, Inc., and I have it written down, but didn't make myself a sticky note. <laughs> um, I think it's like lemon raspberry and something else. So I do kind of get lemon raspberry, and I think that's why it smells similar. In warming, these do smell similar. Um... So I do get like lemon raspberry and this is more like lemon cello grapefruit. Um, I think I like this one better. It's stronger. I don't know. I, uh, I'm trying to, my, you guys, my club is ridiculous. It's like, <laughs> we haven't even gotten to come bring back my bar yet, which my club will charge in June, which is why I was hoping bring back my bar wouldn't be until June, like they originally said, Sensi. <laughs> just take all of my money, just have, you know, the place I work for, just sign my check over to you. Cause I have to have it. <laughs> it's not because I'm stockpiling. I mean, it's literally because I have to have it and I melt it. But anyways, um, totally, totally gonna be my club. Love it, can't live without it. This is, I, I, I think it's the raspberry versus the grapefruit that I'm like, I like it. I think I like that one more. Uh, hmm. Now see, because this is in my quarterly, I can't add it to my monthly and get a couple and stock up. I literally, if I want more, have to let it go through my club every three months and stock up and but they're so similar it's not even funny like similar but this is definitely raspberry that's definitely grapefruit lemon lemoncello like i i do like be fabulous better but monsters inc is really good um i just i think be fabulous is better uh plus you pay 50 cents more for this one i don't know i don't know if it, I may have to make the cut, um, saving that empty clam for someone. Um, I may have to make the cut and that one might make the cut only because it's so much like Be Fabulous that I'm like, I think I might keep that one. <laughs> so I also made it through Totally Mini. In the clam, it smells pretty. It's kind of... <laughs> thumbs down on this one um don't like it why because I pretty much can't even smell it like it's so light like a whole bar you guys okay who besides crazy me does an entire clam at once not very many people and I could hardly smell it with multiple warmers in a little tiny room like I didn't even do it down here I did it in um, the office, in the bathroom. I couldn't even hardly smell it. I was like, do I need to change the wax? Cause I, and I was like, oh yeah, I just put in mini. Yeah, that's a no repurchase for me. I don't even want to try two bars to see if I can smell it. Um, I don't recommend that one. Um, then I went through, oh boy, same space, same warmers. Holy mackerel, is this a good performer? Um, this is strong and it's stronger warming than it smells in the clams. So that's why I had kind of hopes for mini. This is so good. <laughs> like this will probably end up in my club and I can't remember the scent notes, forgive me. To me, it smells like, and I know melon is not <laughs> a, a scent note it smells like melon and citrus to me it's got kind of a vibe of aloha citrus and melons and I know that's I know that melons is not a scent note <laughs> oh, 
it's it's really 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 good if you've not tried oh boy you should because it's really fantastic i really really liked oh boy um i will purchase more of this if it tends to leave the catalog and i would put this in my catalog or in my catalog in my scentsy club oh scentsy club for anybody new um it's just a subscription that you can do where Scentsy will always make your bar, whether it's a limited time offer, um, or which is usually what most people use them for, or if the catalog season ends and there are bars that you can't live without, you throw them into your Scentsy Club for like three months or six months, and then you can pop them back out if they come back in the catalog. If they don't come back in the catalog, then you're not heartbroken because you'll never get them again because you will because they're in your Scentsy Club. So um, I totally love Scentsy Club. You get 10% off uh, $30 or more and you get um, a half price item at $60 or more. You can use a wick box. Um, they also do exclusive bricks and you can do a brick half price. You can do washer whips half price. Um, scent soft. Um, yeah, oh boy, is fantastic. I really, really, really like that one a lot. <laughs> um, I also went through Stitch Experiment 626. Um, it's very nice. Um, it's got kind of like a coconut. It's got a coconut vibe in there. Um, I'm anxious to see now that I have Angel, <laughs> um, what they smell like together what she smells like on her own. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna keep it in my club. I know everybody was like, oh my God, like these wax bars sold out. And I've never in my entire life seen wax bars sell out like within like, which that whole thing was crazy. Like we broke the internet. <laughs> Um, yeah, and during that time when I was trying to get in, I lost some of my bars because they were selling out and it was like crazy. Like within a half an hour to an hour, like these bars were selling out. It was crazy. Um, it's kind of a gooey bar. Um, I like it, but you guys, I can't keep having like a $360 Plus, Sensi Club, I just can't. So I have to make decisions. I don't know if Stitch is gonna make it. It did okay. It wasn't the strongest, but it was pretty good. Like I do think Oh Boy was stronger. Um, it was, it's nice. It lasted for days. I don't know. I don't feel like it's super special. <laughs> I don't know. I'll probably get a couple more just because of that whole thing that happened. Like, I don't want to be without him. Look how cute he is. Oh my gosh. Like, he melts my heart. Just at a sentimental value, I may keep him. <sighs> Isn't he adorable? Okay. Well, for now, he's staying. Because I have till June to make up my mind. Then I made it through um, the Disney Princess True Love Awaits. Oh. <gasps> You guys, this is spectacular. Spectacular. <gasps> this is totally staying in my club. Um, It's very like raspberry. What are the notes in this? Um, Is it strawberry raspberry? Oh gosh, why can't I remember? Um, It's so good, it's so good. I love it. I love it. And it did better than I thought it was gonna. Um, I like that one a lot. Like a lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> uh, I think it's like stra is it strawberry, raspberry, and, and vanilla? Am I crazy? Is that what I remember? Well, anyways, it's really, really, really good. And I do recommend that you try this. Um, it's fruitier than I thought. I love the pod. Um, I haven't, because the one in my kitchen is still going, I walk up to it and I can smell it, but pretty soon I'm going to have to switch it out and this is going in there. Um, yeah, I'm totally keeping that one. 
And then the last two, um, Kiss the Girl, which is Strawberry, Lime, Raspberry, and Sea Mist. It smells so weird on cold. <laughs> it smells weird. In warming, um, it was light. I don't know, you guys, these licensed ones, I really hate to lose them. I hate to get rid of them. How stupid, right? To pay for something that you're like, eh. <laughs> just because it's cute and you don't want to lose it. And I have to get real. But I totally smell the strawberry. I think it's the sea mist with the strawberry raspberry. I don't really smell lime. Like, like you smell lime and rainbow sugar, you don't smell lime. I think it's the strawberry raspberry sea mist that's like weird. And it was lighter. Um, it wasn't as light as mini, totally mini, but it was, it was pretty light. Um, kind of like stitch. Well, no. Yeah, probably like stitch. Um, it, I don't know. I didn't really love it. I love the packaging. <laughs> Um, I don't know. Um, what did surprise me is Faithful Friends. Um, this is Berries, Pear, and Freesia. Now, on cold, it's weird. It's weird. Um, the berries with the pear with the freesia is like a weird combination on cold warming I loved it and I have another bar so I'm gonna try to make up my mind I'm, I'm gonna try <laughs> um the packaging I had to stop being so sentimental like I could oh what is it like Patricia nose to toes <gasps> Her son, Ryan, is so cute. He saves these. And then he gets, like, heartbroken when she makes him throw them away. Um, because he saved, like, the whole year's worth. Oh, he's so cute. Ugh. I'm with you, Ryan. I really want to keep these, bud. <laughs> I I do. I, I kind of want to keep them. And then I just go, Melissa, you're going to be, like, a clutter bug if you have... <laughs> If you have empty clamshells. So. <laughs> I have the buddies, right? I don't know. I might get a couple more. I don't know. I haven't made up my mind. I haven't made up my mind. But it did well. I I recommend this one. Now, it, I think this one is a love it or hate it. Same with um, Kiss the Girl. Because um, they're very unique scents. Um they're worth trying to see what you think. Um, I love trying, I love trying things once. Um, Amber Hall is a big fat never again. <laughs> I hate that one so much. Um, ooh, inhale, exhale is another one. I'm like, no. <laughs> Clothesline, which I love it in the laundry. Oh my gosh, I love it in the laundry. The wax is big fat no. Um, by the sea is a big fat no. Mm-mm. I don't know. Um, I'll have to meld it again to make up my mind, but I did enjoy this. I thought it was a great performer. Um, it was stronger than I thought. And it was actually um, the berries and the pear came out the most. So you get the hint of the freesia, but it's mostly, mostly berries with like the hint of pear. I actually really liked it. Um, and I wasn't sure smelling it cold if I was going to. Um, but I did. I liked it warm. And you're going to hear mixed reviews. So you're going to hear people that love it. You're going to hear people that hate it. I'm team faithful friends. Oh, my dear friend, Etta Harrison on here on YouTube. I don't think she liked it, but I actually like this one. <laughs> um, and yeah, we agree on so many others. It's funny, but. I did. I like this one. 
I don't know. I, I might keep this one in. You guys, I like, I swear I was destined, born to be a mermaid. I feel like God being a mistake. <laughs> it should have been a fish, like a dolphin in the ocean. I'm like, why am I on earth when I would much rather be a fish swimming in the sea? Like, oh, it's so tempting when I go to the ocean not to just jump in and never come back. Of course, I drown because I'm not a fish, but... <laughs> So it's really hard for me to want to give up that one because my bathroom upstairs is mermaids. Uh, my friend Ursula, this is like the last present she gave me. Um, it was a mermaid weather vane from when she went to see her um, sister in Rhode Island. Um, she brought me back a mermaid weather vane in my favorite color, which is turquoise aqua. Um, and uh it hangs above my bathroom sink um so like i see it all the time it's gorgeous so i'm telling you like mermaid's a little sentimental to me but um yeah i i think i like faithful friends more i don't know i'll love them again um but yeah that's all i've been warming um and i'm gonna do like a whole bunch of mixers because i'm really anxious to see plus um, I want to do two bars of Vanilla Waves and see if it's stronger. I want to do two bars of Sand Swept and see if it's stronger. Um, I don't know. It's probably going to end up like Tangerine Creamsicle where I'm like, I don't know that I want to do two bars. And if I need two bars, why keep it? Um... I don't know. I guess what made me decide with um, Tangerine Creamsicle was that Sunkissed Citrus was a lot like it, but the orange was stronger. So, I don't know. I don't know, you guys. <laughs> um, I wish that, I wish, I wish, tan oh, spit it out. I wish Tangerine Creamsicle was stronger. Um, I love Sand Swept. I don't know. Um, I wish that one was stronger though. I might try mixing them with something. I don't know. I can't make up my mind, you guys. I'm terrible at making up my mind. <laughs> but yeah, so everyone have a fantastic Saturday. I've got to go work some overtime and um, get caught up on some things at work. But um, I just wanted to go over my, my melting basket with you and, um, let you know, like, what I've been warming and, um, we might be getting, bring back my bar in May instead of June. Like, I was not prepared financially for that, but it does kind of work out better because my massive <laughs> quarterly Scentsy Club is in June, so do I want my monthly, my quarterly, and bring back my bar? Probably not. So I think I might be okay with bring back my bar in May. And maybe I Heidi and Orville got confused. I don't know. <laughs> maybe they just decided. I don't know. I wish I knew. So that's a maybe. But yeah, so stay tuned um my little orders should be coming i know i got some more wax bars to try some more mixers um my monthly club charges on the 8th um but it's also got cotton cleanup so if they don't have enough <laughs> i don't know that might get delayed again um yeah so i'm sure i'm not doing oh i am doing the wax from the may 4th um just the wax bars though. And if for some reason they sell out like the stitch ones, um, I'll probably just throw them in my Scentsy Club monthly and quarterly. So, um, yeah, but yeah, so stay tuned. I'll, I'll be posting more, um, soon. So, um, everyone have a fantastic Saturday. Like, and subscribe, um, if you enjoy the content and, um, everyone have a great day. Bye.